this is Rosie at EdTech Teacher, and in this iOS 11 video, we're going to talk about slide over and split view. These have not been, um, this is not new since iOS 11. They've actually been around since iOS 9. But the big change here is the ability to drag and drop. So now slide over and split view are essential, allowing you to drag pictures, documents, text, and URLs between apps, as well as work with up to three apps on the screen at one time. So essentially, slide over and split view are the equivalent to Windows and Mac and PC um, computers. So I'm going to show you a little bit about slide over and split view. So I'm going to select um, an article. So we're going to actually Kids National Geographic. And what I'm going to do here is slide up from my um, bottom of my screen. And I'm going to perhaps want to take notes on this article. So I'm going to use the Native Notes app. I'm going to take this. And as you can see, I now have this little pop-up window. If I just let it go, I'm now in slide overview. I can actually slide it to whatever side I want to. As you can see, it's floating over my web page. I may want to take some of the facts from this article on cheetahs. I'm going to actually take some text. And by highlighting the text, I can now hold down on it. And you can see I have this like floating piece of text that I can now add to my note. So what slide over and split screen as well will allow you to do is take text and images, and I can even take this URL and slide this over. So if I want to then go back to it, I can. And as you can see, the image came with it. So with slide over and split screen, I can take text, images, links, and bring them into a new document. So this is slide over. I'm now going to convert this to split screen, which I think is a little bit easier if you're using it for note taking. So I'm going to take this little handle at the top and you can see how my windows are starting to shift. So if I move this back, I now have what's called split screen. And you can see that I now can change the view from 50-50, 20-80, whatever works best for, um, for me. This is so easy to do. And now I have a bigger screen in which to read and annotate the text for taking notes. The beauty of this is I, because this is a digital document, I have all the accessibility features available. So I could highlight this text. I'm just going to take part of it, and I'm not sure what my speed is for speaking, so this may be a little slow. Kilometers, an hour over short distances. It usually chases its prey at only... So if a student needed support of having the text read aloud, I have that available both in my notes and on the web. The other thing about this is I now can make these notes my own whether I'm in split view or slide over. I now have the ability to take notes, make them my own, and when I'm done, I still have that share available to send those notes someplace else. So as you can see, I can add them to Google Keep, I can send them via email, and um, if I was using OneNote, I could do that as well. So usually any LMS, I'm able to do that. And because this is a notes app, I can also lock this note so that it cannot be modified. You can also create a PDF with this as well. So if I, the, the other thing about this is if I swipe up from the home screen, and I am now in the control center, you can see that my note right here remains together. So that split screen or slide over will remain together until I separate them. This is also the app switcher. So if I wanted to close apps, I can do that. If I wanted to close this app right now, I would probably decide I'm going to swipe this away. 
and now I am only on my web page. So those are the nuts and bolts of slide over and split view. I hope you'll try this in your classroom for note taking for your students. Just one key point, it is not available as yet in Google Docs. We can hope that that's coming soon. So this is Rosie McQuillan at EdTech Teacher. If you have any questions, please um, email me. Have a great day. Thank you.